Hello and welcome to another video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to make a really really simple stencil. So what you need is a laptop or a computer with Microsoft Word. You also need a printer and you need some A4 paper or just paper to print onto. So I've gone onto Microsoft Word. I've found the font style that I like. I've made it to the correct size that I want which is filling a whole A4 sheet of paper. You can make it any size you want and yeah basically here it is I've changed the color of the outline um, just so it doesn't use as much ink and I've also used that little symbol where is it there the A the hollow A uh, to make the letters hollow which also saves you ink anyway now I'll print it and then I'll stick it on some card using some print stick And by the way, I also changed the orientation of the paper so the letters will fit onto the paper. There is a little method you can use if you print out letters big enough uh, so they spread over several pages. You can basically cut them out and stick them all together um, on a piece of card. Uh, basically draw a kind of bottom line and a top line and then you can kind of orient them so they work. Anyway, now on to cutting that out and sticking it on a piece of paper, a piece of card. So I'm going to cut round the letters just because you don't need all the excess paper to stick down. It's easier just to cut it out. You'll notice how I'm leaving the bottom edge of the paper as a reference point. I'm just going to stick it probably about there, but I'll line up the bottom of the paper with the bottom of the card so it all sits nice and straight. And so you're aware you need to stick glue all over the back of it, not just on the edges. Because when you're cutting it out with the Stanley, it all needs to stay stuck down, otherwise it will pull up and it will just turn into a mess and it won't come out very accurate. And you'll be happy with the result. So, straight edge. There we go. Alright, give that a few minutes to dry, for the glue to dry. Then we'll cut it out. There we go, stencil cut out. Time to test it out on something. So uh, I'll paint it onto the back of a canvas I'm painting at the moment. I will put a little link in one of the corners or in the description to the part one of that canvas making process.
So, there you go. How to make a really simple but effective stencil. Anyway, hope you like it. Please subscribe, follow, like, do all that stuff. I'll leave a link to my Instagram in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.